Aviation is under pressure to reduce its impact on the environment. At present, flying emits approximately a billion tons of CO2 per year. Without action, this could rise to 3 billion by 2050. The International Air Transport Association, or IATA, has committed to reaching net zero by 2050. All of its 290-plus airlines are working to drive down their CO2 emissions, but they need the technology to support their initiatives. Leading aerospace and defense company Collins Aerospace is committed to playing an important part in this transition to a low-carbon future. The company is working on several initiatives to give airframers and airlines the tools they need to meet their net-zero ambitions. By developing so-called more electric systems, Collins is replacing traditional pneumatic and hydraulic systems with electric alternatives. This reduces the engine bleed air and shaft power required to operate these systems, supporting fuel burn savings. Collins has already demonstrated the potential of more electric systems as it is the manufacturer of the only bleedless electric environmental control system in service today. Used on the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, this technology has supported significant reductions in fuel burn and CO2. Hybrid electric propulsion will see traditional fuel burning engines combined with electric motors and batteries to drastically reduce emissions. Fuel efficiency will be improved, noise and operating costs will reduce, and CO2 emissions will be lowered. In partnership with sister Raytheon Technologies business Pratt & Whitney, Collins is integrating its hybrid electric propulsion technology into a de Havilland Canada Dash 8100 demonstrator, targeting a 30% reduction in CO2 emissions. Flight testing is anticipated in 2024. Electric motor technology from Collins Aerospace is also being used in a rather unique form of future air transportation. The hybrid air vehicle's Air Lander 10 will use a 500 kilowatt electric motor from Collins as its power plant, initially in a hybrid electric format. Flight testing of the motor is expected in 2023, with operation of the Air Lander expected in 2025. Collins will continue to support greener operation for the Airlander post-launch with an all-electric zero-emission version of the aircraft targeted to enter service before 2030. To find out more about Collins Aerospace's big push towards electrification, visit collinsaerospace.com sustainability.